Good morning, traders. This is John Paul, daytradetowin.com. Today is March 11th, 2011. I just entered a trade to go long here at 12.9150. And now I have an opportunity to go long the market because in the morning we had all these short orders firing off because price started to trade below the Alice line. And so if price action is telling us to go short and stay short, all these signals will appear and get you in on these orders. Now, as you can see, we had two candles close above the Alice line. Now I'm thinking long. And so my bias is long the market. I'm going for about two points. Actually, I should go for a little bit less than two points because, and the main reason, the main reason is because if you look down at the ATR, which stands for average true range, it is trading at uh, 1.81, uh, which is telling me something. It's telling me that the current market conditions can withstand a profit target of about or between one and three quarters of a point and two points. So I'm always trading based on the current market conditions using just the price and price action. So I use this to my advantage. When it's slow, when it's just one point of ATR, then I just take one point. When it's fast, three, four points, then I take uh, three or four points based on the current market conditions, what the ATR is telling me. So I'm long. I have a reason. Price is above the Atlas line. It's all mapped out here for you. The signals are appearing on the chart, and therefore, I also know my exact profit target and my stop is if it closes back down below the Atlas line then I am out of this trade so everything is pretty much given to you and I also want to make sure you're trading it right so that's why I include a one-on-one -on -one webinar with each purchase of the Atlas line making sure you understand how this works All right, guys, here we are approaching the uh, one and three quarters profit target. And there you have it. Target filled. So I knew the direction I wanted to take. I had an exact price to enter the market. And always have a reason why you're trading. Also, if you haven't done so already, today is, or yesterday, I should say, is the contract rollover. So if you're trading, any CME contract, financials, currencies, E-mini, S&P indices, trading on the CME. Today or yesterday was the contract rollover. So if you haven't watched that video, I did a video on it yesterday on a quick note on when to know when to roll over each expiring contract month. My name is John Paul. Have a great weekend. See you guys next week.